Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're gonna find out what spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this matter resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what spirit wants you to know. Somebody feels very insecure, they're scared to take a risk, they feel like there's communication issues here. I do see that this person is avoiding any type of communication, they're avoiding you at all costs. Um, this person seems to feel very overwhelmed when thinking about reaching out to you, you make this person feel very shy. Um, I do see this person lacking confidence here when it comes to this connection. They also seem to, this person doesn't like to show their emotion whatsoever. They like to hide their emotions. They like to come off as somebody that is unbothered, somebody that's a little bit cold, um, logical, okay. Um, they like to sort of avoid their emotions and I do see them trying to hide their emotions. Um, this person seems to have fallen in love with you real quick and this person really doesn't know what to do. They also feel like people can see through them. Like, I do see that this person becomes a different person around you. They're unable to hide their emotions. They also become very nervous, like very shy, okay, which is way out of character for this person. This person is usually somebody that's very confident, okay, somebody that isn't shy, somebody that doesn't really get nervous at all, okay, they're very confident within themselves, um, they, always, they always know what to say as well. They seem to be somebody that can go up to anybody and speak to anybody, they have no problems, but when it comes to you, you make this person nervous, okay, this person also... They have like a hard time looking you in the eye because they feel like you're really attractive. They also feel very overwhelmed by the connection that you seem to, like you bring up this love, this connection in them that they've never felt before. Yeah, this person feels like they cannot hide from you, okay? There's something about your eyes, they feel like your eyes are really beautiful um, and they can't hide from you. I am getting that this person may be actively trying to hide their emotion from you and this person knows that if you look into their eyes, like you'll be able to see through them so they avoid eye contact, okay? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. This person feels like it's easier to keep themselves away from you to avoid this, okay? Um, because, again, you bring up a lot of emotions in this person. Your energy also makes this person very shaky, I'm hearing, okay? It's like you make this person nervous. This person looks at you as somebody that has it all, okay? You're really their wish fulfillment. They're very intimidated by your energy. They feel like you have this energy, this very um, calming energy, but you're also very strong. You also are able to manifest whatever you want. You're a master manifester, okay? So whatever you put you, your mind to, like you're able to get. I'm hearing 14. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, I am getting that this person feels like it would be really risky to come forward, okay? And this person is acting immature. They're not taking a risk here. They're also acting like they're not interested when they they miss you constantly. They think about you constantly. You sort of make this person feel very insecure. I am getting it. It's something about your energy. Your energy is very authentic, okay? You're also somebody that is very authentic. Like, you show your true personality. You're not scared to... Um, 
you know, say what you mean, okay? You're not scared to say what's on your mind. This person's faking their personality. They're acting like they're somebody that they're really not, okay? You both seem to mirror each other, but you seem to show your personality and they have this, like, fake, this fake thing they've got going on here, okay? It's like they let their ego take over. They're really worried about what other people think as well which is something that they admire about you, like they feel like you don't care about what other people think, you're about to do what you want to do, you're about to be who you want to be, and you don't care about other people's opinions. This person seems to be the opposite, okay? They really are invested on how other people view them, okay? This person like dims down their personality, okay, um, to fit in. They also act like they don't have any emotion here to fit in with the crowd here okay this person um when they talk about you they get really happy right when they talk to you they get really happy this person it's like they start acting like a child again um you really bring out this happiness like you bring out their true self as well um, which sort of makes them a little bit intimidated, okay, because this person has this personality, um, that they like to portray, okay, even though it's fake, it's somebody that has these walls up, somebody that isn't focused on love, they're more focused on, I keep hearing gym, you may be dealing with somebody that's very focused on their body and how other people view them, okay, I'm hearing testing the water. This person, they may be coming in, they may speak to you, and then they may ghost you, okay? Your energy really intimidates this person. Um, this person feels like no matter what, like, you end up seeing through them, you end up making them let down their guard, okay? This person keeps trying to convince themselves that they have no feelings, but every time they deal with you or talk to you, you bring up all these emotions that, again, that they're trying to hide from, okay? I do see that this person may have started a fight. They may have ghosted you because, again... People were starting to see through this person, okay? And this person, they have a lot of emotion here for you. They're trying to hide it. Um, yeah, basically this person's overwhelmed here with love, right? And they're trying to avoid you. They're causing a lot of stress as well, um, but they're trying to avoid you, right? And this person coming off as very selfish and uninterested, um, I am getting that you're looking at this person as immature. You also seem to be mirroring each other's energy. You guys seem to be the same person in two different bodies, right? This person's avoiding you because of what other people are saying. I am getting that other people sort of can see through this person and this person, they seem to be in love with you, right? And they're trying to hide that from everyone, including you, right? This person seems to watch you though. They watch you in secret. They also seem to act like they've cut you off. Like people around them started to like see through this person and how like, for example, if somebody brought you up, they would start smiling or something. Or they would bring you up a lot, okay? And they started to see through how this person had emotion for you. And this person sort of got really scared of that, okay? Because, again, they're not used to that. They do not want to come off as somebody that is sensitive. I am getting that this person is scared as well of commitment, right? They also watch you in secret, um, but they don't seem to be 
talking to you or communicating with you because they're scared of what other people are saying. They're also trying to act like they've cut you off and they're not interested here and they feel like they've made the wrong choice. You could be dealing with a Taurus here, you could be dealing with a Gemini. This person is really embarrassed at the moment because they feel like you see through them. Like you see the tr like the true them, okay, the one that they're trying to hide, like the personality that they're trying to hide, their true self, you see through it, okay? You also see through this character. And this person's embarrassed because they feel like that they have cut, you know, they have cut you off because they were scared of what other people were going to think and now they feel lonely, right? They also feel like this person clearly unhappy. They also seem to be projecting their unhappiness onto other people. This person is seriously frustrated, seriously angry at the moment at themselves for caring about what other people think. I'm hearing Karen. Um, it's like they, they cared too much about what other people thought about other people's opinions okay they cut you off to try to fit in but they feel like they've taken a major step back and they're unhappy now right they also feel like that you're at peace like you're happier without them like you don't need them you may be moving on There's something that this person wants to say to you, but they just won't say, say it, okay? They're avoiding communication. They're avoiding you at all costs. Yeah, they have something that they won't say. They want to say it to you, but they won't say it, and they keep regretting it. They also feel like that they've lost a blessing, right? And they feel like that they've moved in into the wrong direction they're definitely thinking about you a lot dreaming about you a lot okay they feel very overwhelmed they're regretting everything that they've done here this person seems to have a hard time sleeping because they seem to dream about you and then they also seem to wake up and want to message you but they hold themselves back right Spirit's really trying to get this person to reach out to you, get this person to express their emotions. This person's hiding their truth and it seems to be causing a lot of inner conflict, okay? I'm hearing Robin. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, there's something that this person wants to say to you. And they are being really immature about it. Like, they are thinking the worst. They feel like if they do say it, that they're just going to get rejected. Um, little do they know, though, whatever they want to say, and they feel like this is very small, but it's going to lead to a beautiful new beginning, okay? Something that they've been wishing for. This person feels very unstable at the moment. They're letting fear take over. Like, they really want to say something to you, but they let fear take over. They let their ego take over. They feel like that this is over. Okay, they feel like this whole connection is over because of how immature they were acting. But they do have something to say to you, and they don't realise that this is going to lead to something beautiful, right? It's like they're going back and forth, okay? Spirit is really trying to get them to reach out to you, say something to you, and then their ego um, comes in and fear comes in, okay? And it's like they talk themselves out of it, right? I'm hearing 13th, okay? Let me know if that resonates. Maybe somebody's going to reach out on the 13th. Yeah, so this person doesn't realise that they're delaying this beautiful blessing, right? 
this person seems to be very insecure, very shy when it comes to you, very intimidated by you, trying to control the situation and letting fear take over. They're also very angry at themselves, okay, because they feel like the disconnection is going nowhere, okay, um, and they're also letting fear take over. They seem to be very jealous as well, like if you speak to somebody, if you're in a new connection, they seem to be extremely jealous. Yeah, this is a whole lot of miscommunication. Spirit's really trying to talk to this person to move forward and communicate. And this person is letting fear take over. They also are very obsessed with you. They're constantly thinking about you. Um, I do see that this person has a hard time not thinking about you. I'm hearing Peter. They have a hard time not thinking about you, right? Like, they feel like you consume their mind, right? They feel like they're tied to you, basically. I do think Spirit's really trying to... I'm hearing two, two, two. Spirit's really trying to get them to reach out, okay? And I do see them saying something. They feel like it's small. They're going to say something or do something that they feel like it's small. But it's going to lead to something beautiful, okay? Um, also, this person... They seem to be stepping in the way of this, like, blessing here, okay? Like, I do see this is a soul connection. You guys are meant to be together. You both get signs about each other. It's, I'm hearing it's clear as day. So it's, like, clear as day that you guys are meant to be together. But this person seems to be stepping in the way and they're letting fear take over. So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.